Welcome back to Championship Court as we get set for our men's singles gold medal match between the two seed Jack Foster and Will Howells not seated in the main draw. Howells making it to his first singles medal match. He's never medaled in singles before. Foster took home a silver last year in Philadelphia. Foster, the two seed, both of these men nearly lost their first matches of the tournament. Howells pushed to three games against Kyle Lewis. Jack Foster against Kwando. That one was 16-14, 7-15, in the round of 16. So both tested. But both making their way through, Chad, what about Jack Foster's game has allowed him to get to Championship Sunday? Well, he's been putting a lot of work in on the court and off the court, but specifically on the court, made an adjustment with the forehand grip, adding a little bit more shape to it. He's always had the power, but if he's going to be successful here, he really has to get the ball down below the net against Will Howes. He has to get into the cat and mouse, use his speed and court coverage. And on the other side of the net, it's Will Howells, the Notre Dame tennis star. Coming into pickleball, he puts a lot of pressure on you as a real heavy forehand and two-handed backhand. He's going to play with a lot of play pace, a lot of up-tempo. The key here is going to be can Jack Foster slow him down, bring him to the kitchen line, and play the cat and mouse game that Jack Foster knows how to do. Will's going to try and pass Jack. He's going to try and play with that power game. So it's going to be, again, just like singles in the women's side, who can execute better here well, on we, championship court? We saw Howes in the semifinal against Chris Hayworth. And Chris Hayworth has probably one of the best passing shots in the game. Hayworth was not able to pass him. Howes just took that ball out of the air. Excellent volley opposite direction and, and Hayworth just had no no response for it right and Jack's not gonna be able to pass him Jack like that unless he moves him from the north end Will Howells Howells to serve first that's Jack Foster on your screen now at the top in the purple shorts and black top Howells at the bottom of the screen the bright pink neon shoes he is easy to spot as he will start us off here in this men's singles gold medal match side out point one Howes just rushed that two-hander there. Tried to get it past Foster before he was able to get up to the kitchen line. 1-0. Oh, that's Boy. excellent oh. shape. Wow, <laughs> did he dip that ball over the net right there beautifully. Jack Foster looking good early. Two zero for Foster Side service out. error. Point. That's Side on out. you. That's, That's all on you. Not taking that. <laughs> Not my responsibility. Both of these players have really big serves, One, but well, along with the serves, you do have the potential for service errors Side as Howe misses Point the forehand three. into the top of the net. Well, that's the, the risk-reward of the big serve right there. Trying to hit that big serve, push your opponent back behind the baseline, make it more difficult for them to get up to the kitchen line because that men's singles game is played one. so much with return and, and run up. Ooh, this out. Foster just misses. Two. Well, that's the difference here. We just watched the women's doubles, and they went ground stroke for ground stroke a lot of that match. That's going to be the difference here in men's. The men don't waste any time getting Two, to the three. kitchen line trying to use their size. Big Side serve out. from Howells. Point. Tied at three. And that's exactly what Will Howells is going to do. He's going to try and pressure you, go for that big three, serve. Three. We saw an ace out of him in doubles yesterday. I saw a couple of aces in that doubles match. Uncharacteristic. Oh, just overruns that one. Point. Good Four. backhand volley there from Foster. Didn't have a whole lot of pace on it, but it had depth. Howells was trying to rush up. Howells looks a little out of Four, sync three. to start this match based on what we've seen from him throughout this tournament Boy. as that sails long. How does being here before in that Jack Foster's played a championship Sunday factor into being more comfortable? Five, well, three. I, I, we saw it yesterday in, in men's doubles with Howells. He definitely was tied up. And, you Boy. know, it's Four. just an atmosphere thing, right? You have to, I think doesn't really matter the match you have some butterflies coming into it but obviously more so pressure in your first championship Sunday in Four, singles five. 
Uh-oh, great hands from Shot Foster out. for the winner. Well, just when it looked like Howell's going to be in control of that point because he got a short return out of Jack Foster, Foster bails himself out with some good hands at the kitchen line. Wow. Oh, unleashes the inside Time out, out forehand winner from Foster. Seven. Four. And that's One a minute. part of the game that Foster has worked on there. The inside out forehand roll. Perfect execution. This week's Partake Community Hero is Jackie Bryla. Jackie brings service animals to hospital and care homes and even created a pickleball themed photo album featuring her service dog Mango. In collaboration with APP, Partake Non-Alcoholic Brewing aspires to seek out, celebrate, and share the stories of individuals who, driven by their passion for pickleball, are advancing the sport's frontiers for themselves and the community. Thank you to Jackie and Partake for making a difference. And thank you to Mango, who is on site here for Championship Sunday. There's Jackie and Mango. He was excited. He's excited <laughs> to be here. Hey. Everyone's excited yeah. to see Mango. I'm, I'm a big well, fan yeah. of yeah. big fan of the pups. I've got, got, five, like of, I've got five of my own. <laughs> got a half dozen at home. Well, thank you to Mango. Thank you to Jackie. As we are set to get back to action Nine here eight. in the men's singles gold medal match. Time seven back four. in. Jack Foster leading 7-4. Oh, Boy, it was that. Side out. Point five. It was. He had it. He had Howells leaning down that line to the backhand side. But again, what Howells does, because he covers so much ground right there, he forces you to try and be perfect five, with that. Seven. Nice backhand flick from Howells. And good misdirection there from Howells as well. Doubles up on the forehand side there of Foster. Doesn't quite get that one below the net. Nice reach in. Good finish on the backhand from, from Howells. Six, seven. Ooh. Point should have been over three times. 30 seconds ago, <laughs> but these guys, what gets? Howell's got a couple that I didn't even think he had a chance to get. Foster controlling that kitchen line. He got that was probably the easiest one right there. And and that's why he that's why it was it. easier. He popped up on it, not thinking he had to do as much. Howell's keeping himself in the point with seven, his defense. Seven. Knotted it up at seven. Uncorks the backhand as he takes his first lead of the match. Well, it's because he cuts so much shape on that ball. As yep. soon as it gets over the tape right there, it's dipping on Foster. So the hard part about that is Foster has to hit up on it, but now you're trying to gauge how hard do, up do I hit on it because you don't want to float it. Big serve. Point nine, timeout. Quick timeout here nine, from Foster. Seven, one minute. He called that timeout as the ball was in the yeah. air. <laughs> yeah. It's a five-point run for Will Howells as he has taken a 9-7 lead over the two-seed Jack Foster here in game number one of this men's singles gold medal match. Let's learn a little bit more about Will Howells, the former Notre Dame tennis star, the 24-year-old out of Florida. That's where he makes his home. Won a men's doubles at APP Punta Gorda alongside C.J. Klinger. Played in the men's doubles here yesterday, picked up a silver medal. So how's really making himself a staple early on this year in these gold medal matches? They've really started to come into his own here on the APP Tour as believe. He was close to meddling in mixed doubles in Punta Gorda as well. He played really well in mixed doubles as well with Bobby Oshiro. Yeah. So they were real close. I watched the match to try and get them into a medal match. Um, they lost a heartbreaker, but again, Will Howell is coming into his own in all three aspects, mixed, men's, and singles. Nine, seven. We've talked at length throughout the tournament as we are back to play about the rising level of play across the sport. 
fouls out. can't make the roll. Point eight. Yeah, just tried to rush that one a little bit. But going back to what you were talking about, Don, with the shape of Howes, and when you're trying to volley on that ball that's dipping below the net, if you eight try nine. to go flat back down the line, you're going to go into the net. So you almost have Point. to... You have to create an angle because you're having to hit up on it. That gives you more space. The ball to travel and it's not going to sit up as long. Two consecutive errors from Howells makes it nine all. Foster on nine, serve. Nine. Smart decision there from House to go cross court backhand flick. And again, if he's going to be successful, he's got to force Foster to hit his backhand. Jack is so good at getting to his forehand, running around it, and even recovering to it as well. A lot of times players will be out of position. Jack is not. Oh, he popped up. Point ten. Tried to really come up underneath that ball and create the shape but came out of the legs too soon ended up hitting the top of the ball tied at 10, 10 here in game one of this men's singles gold medal match yeah, that's oh, nice. deep in the corner pocket for howls that's the one you have to get below the net Howes is so good at covering the kitchen line and a firm volley Anything up there is going to put you on the run. That return, though, from Howells was nasty. He gets around the two-hander, rips it cross-court to the line. Like you said, Chad, he got to the kitchen 11, line, 10. closed that off. No trace of nerves from Howell looking loose. Yes! Paints the line. Winner for Howells. He's up by two. That was Dirty. a full swing, and it landed mid-court down the line. That is dirty. I mean, the the revolutions on that ball right there. That's a 12-6 well, breaking ball. Howell's oh, having his way with Jack Foster. That ball right there is easily to over, easy to over hit. Yes. He's coming in on a ball. It's going to pop Time up waist high, 13, 10, mid court. One minute. You could really want to punish this. Will Howell's so impressed with what he just did with this last ball here. Watch him approach this. And it was just easy at about 70%. He creates the dipping action, finds the spot. Great job by Will Howes. That's what they call easy power as Jack Foster has seen Howes run on three straight points. He takes a timeout, trailing 13-10 here in game number one. How does Foster counteract that backhand of Will Howes? Well, right now it's, it's on the return. He's not getting that ball down enough. You'll get a little bit more depth as far as court positioning on the big house return and try to junk it up a little bit. You want something that's either going to be flatter and slide through the court or slice and slide through the court that's at knee height. Now, Howes has to get underneath that ball more. He's going to add more height to it, and you're not going to get that aggressive dipping ball out of him. If he's making contact anywhere on that ball between your know, waist height, mid thigh, that's where he's really strong. One time out. Howells two points away from taking game one over Jack Foster. Howells already guaranteed his first ever singles medal, but he wants it to be gold. Well, gonna, I think we're going to see a challenge on that one. Might as well. We are going to see a challenge. The call on the court was out. Howells clearly thought it was in, had a verbal yeah. I mean, it looked out off the paddle, but again, he has so much spin, so much top spin on those ground strokes. It's almost like it just drops off the table right at the baseline. Well, like you said, off the paddle, looked out. And then all of a sudden, as it's traveling, we're like, oh, that's dipping. And it looked a lot closer. It's a different style of game because Nunnery primarily plays doubles, but another player that t that has a lot of topspin is Rob Nunnery, and okay. I'm asking as you, as you both what are looking at me. You like, like, where are you there? dropping uh, Nunnery right, in here? Like I'm, asking for, like I'm asking for a comparison because that's yes. the other player that has that heavy topspin that On we see that drops hand. it into the court. Yep. Who has the heavier topspin? Does this remind you oh, a little Will, bit? Will House, 100%. The, mm -hmm. the strokes are, are a little bit different. Ooh. We're going to zoom in here. Oh, 
Oh, looks like it might have just caught the it back of the line. It might look like it catches the back of the line. It might have. It is tight. It's very tight. Yeah, so going back to, to your, your question there, Dorian, as far as Nunnery and Hals, two different strokes as far as Nunnery drops the paddle head you know, straight down. Fingers are down to the ground, and then he kind of screwdriver, you know, twists the paddle for it. And that one does look like it catches the line. Whereas, whereas Howes is, is really getting underneath that ball and then cranking up the back of it, creating that bottom of the ball, top of the ball, heavy top spin. I mean, you want to talk about a momentum shift here. If this call gets overturned it'll be 14 10 how's right. on serve with game point yeah so worth a challenge regardless in this situation yep again also you, don't the two of you look em. at me like i don't know what i'm talking about you're just pulled like but you just pulled nunnery out of nowhere i mean we miss him he's recovering from a knee he injury is. we can't but, wait uh, to get rob nunnery back on tour but it, in terms of the top spin and the style of play yeah yes yeah and and you know the way nunnery hits the his top spin as well is he has a he has a, a locked wrist he has a stiffer wrist it's it's a very unconventional uh stroke compared to a lot of the tennis players that we come in and we see and it's and it's very risky as we have the call on the court ball was in <laughs> the ball is called in house trying to get the crowd involved here on championship court as he is now up by four with game point on his paddle it was close that was as close as it's going to get 14 i got it there 14 So the first game point goes the way of Will Howes here in this men's singles gold medal match. Time in. 14-10. Oh, oh, no. Service <laughs> error. <laughs> <laughs> the, time, the challenge worked Jack against him there as far as freezing himself. And Jack but he did get the point. Jack looking at him going, don't lie. 11-14. <laughs> Let's oh. get. He's there. Are you kidding? Oh. Not there on that one, no. <laughs> Foster just toying with House throughout that point. I mean, I'm breathing heavy after that first ball that he ran for, <laughs> let alone the other the other four. Now the issue is on the serve from House, he gave up a point. Now he keeps up that point. That's two quick points. Foster misses the forehand. House will have another chance to take game one. And that's the difficulty there, playing against somebody that moves so well. Foster tries to rush that forehand and get it off before Howes can get to the kitchen line. 14, 12. And Howes just leaving that up for the easy put away for Foster. The reach from Jack Foster right there to create the angle to get that ball away from Will Howes. 13-14. Oh, Missed it. it was there. Big sub put him in a good position. And because of the freeze, it is still 13 14, 14 13 in favor of Howells, and it will be game point number three. 14 13. Side Can't out. make Point. the backhand 14. side out. 14 all. So the adjustment there for Foster, he's keeping his returns a little bit lower. Howes isn't able to create as much shape on that two-hand backhand, 14. and then Foster doubles up. Oh, Foster so missed it. Point. Same exact 15. shot, same spot. Yeah, it's there. It just needs to take a little bit of pace off it. Go for a foot inside the sideline instead of right on it. Gives a point back to Howells on serve for another chance at game 15, point. Uh, no, point. The return 14. is long. Howells able to finally Go shut down. the door on game, game number game. one. He oh. takes it over Foster 16-14. Game number two coming up next here on Championship Court. It's the APP Sacramento Open on ESPN.
19 years from tonight, Grant Gill will become a legend when he totally kills it at his improv class's graduation performance. Knees will be slapped. Suds will be sprayed. People won't know what hurts more, their cheeks or their sides. That's why he's already keeping himself in shape and razor sharp today with health tips and wellness tools from AARP to help make sure his health lives as long as he does. Because the younger you are, the more you need AARP. Sponsored by SI Tickets, official ticketing partner of the APP Tour. Eglin's Best, better taste, better nutrition, better eggs. And Aura Organic, plant-based nutrition. Let's take another look at Will Howes doing work defensively yeah, all over the court. The court coverage there, Foster had control, but Howes with the pace. Couldn't catch up to that last one. I mean, in reality, the point could have been done three times over. Yeah. We had a point like that earlier in the match, too. Again, these guys, so athletic, so quick. They run down stuff. And the hardest part about running this down is not only getting there, but then once you finally get there, calming yourself Stopping, down. Stopping, hitting, recovering, chasing him back down on the next one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right now, Will Howes one game away from taking his first ever gold medal in men's singles. Jack Foster to serve game to start two, game two. Hand. Zero, zero. Point. Howes getting a little big. Well, he got away with one right there. Howes was anticipating something a little bit lower in the time it took one, him zero. to get up to that elevated ball, just catching it a little late. Oh, oh, such well, good placement from Foster well, there. Well, that's the cat and mouse Jack wants to get into. So if Foster can get to that kitchen line and play that cat and mouse, that's an advantage Two, to him. Huge Big serve. Oh, wow. His cat's in right the middle line on right the there. Line. We've seen a couple of aces this tournament. Is that the next evolution of men's pickleball? Well, that wasn't an ace right there. Well, it was just a big sub. Still. But, but we but have yes. seen a couple of aces. Yes. One from Howells. Yes. Oh, so rushed it, body point. jumped. But point. yeah, I mean that's that's along with the power that's coming into the into the game from you know transition from tennis. But the paddles are allowing for it as well. We already we're already seeing it. We already know some of the new paddles on the on the market. The players that are playing with them, they didn't have that power without the paddle. Point. Right, exactly. We're seeing a lot of that now, and it's. Interesting to say the least. And the game is changing so rapidly. It's still so new, even though some of these players Two, have been three. playing for so long. Changing the landscape of the sport each and every week. Boy. Sales long as Howells has tied it up at three. Jack had about four different options. Right three, there, three. but chooses to go flat down the line. Stop play. Just overhits it. Questionable whether contact was made above the waist. I'll recall the score replay. Right, we're going to get a re-sub here. Howes is kind of borderline three, three. with his sub. Referee yeah. Brett Hutless Point. calling questionable contact whether the ball was above his down. waist. Sure. Therefore, the paddle head out. Point four. above the ball as well. 4-3. Four, 4-3 three. Four, three for Foster. Point. Yeah. How's not usually making errors off of that backhand side. No, just we've seen a couple of miss hits off of those elevated balls. Five, so that ball was 
up quite easily then, but it got behind him. Side out. Point four. Now an unforced error from Foster. And Foster just slowed his swing down there too much. You see the deceleration. You have to trust the spin and the extension on that one to get the dip four, below, five. not the deceleration of the paddle or the swing. That's such a fine line. Oh, 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 the touch six. from Foster showing a little finesse. Well, he got a little help from the net. That too. <laughs> and then the little, the little fist pump there at the Check end four. as he turned around. Take it how you can get it. Shot out. No, the ball was in. He gave him the thumbs up. He gave him the thumbs up. It was a thumbs up, not an out call. That's a nice Your ball right there set. from Jack Foster. And again, oh, beautiful yeah. right in the corner down the line. The way he can run this down, too, because he went inside out forehand. He ended up outside the court on the left side and then runs this down with body control and hooks that back inside the sideline. Mr. Howell is challenging his, challenging his own line call. <laughs> <laughs> So Howells is challenging that he made the correct call, well, initially called it in. At, at this point right now, too, it's he, he got, he's still had three challenges remaining after the successful challenge in game one. So, you know, free timeout. Again, why not? He's going to take a timeout regardless, I think, because of the run from Foster. So it might as well be a challenge. And oh, looks like it's on the inside part of the line. Well, and this should be quick. If the call does indeed stand as in, it will be 7-4 in favor of Jack Foster here in game number two. It's a quick review. And the ball was in. So Foster on serve, leading by three. Foster dropped game one to Will Howe, 16-14. I will call the score. Time in. 7-4. So that's better right there. Oh, inside Foster. out. He had tried that in game one, pushed it a little too far. This one takes pace off it, but stays at the same tempo all the way through. Gets Eight, that ball a foot inside the sideline instead of being so fine. Well, Foster that, all over the line there. That right there, Jack Foster closing ground two and then getting the paddle up and in a good position, not taking a big backswing and then just punching that right Nine, back four. down the line. Five point lead for Foster, his largest of the match. What a yeah. battle and Howells wins it. So I almost uh, thought Howells made a huge, a bad decision going back cross court to the Foster forehand. He needs to pin him back here on the backhand side. When Foster gets to his forehand, he's trouble. Yes, sir. Timeout receiver, five nine. Foster's going minutes. to take a timeout. You like the timeout here? I do. He just ran from sideline <laughs> to sideline for, for six shots. Yeah, but he's young. He's fine. <laughs> yeah. I'm tired watching. Well, Foster is also part of that next up-and-coming generation of players. He was in the inaugural collegiate championships in Indianapolis at the beginning of the year with his team from Florida. Is really working to push the boundaries and promote the sport at the grassroots level. Yeah, really guided his team at the University of Florida to the finals there where they lost to Utah Tech. Um, in a good final, we were on that call. All three of us were there. Great event. The collegiate championships, looking forward to more of those and seeing the, grow, the sport grow on the collegiate level as well. Super simple. Utah Tech, an absolute powerhouse of collegiate pickleball. Seconds, well, their club is like 400. Yeah, they have like 400 or 500 people in their club. A Incredible. Great, a great turnout in Indianapolis the first week of January Diamond. for the collegiate championships. We were Five, inside. <laughs> in Indianapolis. It was 14 degrees outside. Was, I said nothing yeah. about the weather. I, I said know. it was a great turnout for people. Side out. Much Point better weather here 10. in Sacramento. Much better. 
out of the timeout. Foster earns the side out. Ten five. And again. Oh, inside Boy. out. That's so dirty. Yeah, that just, again, the tempo is through the shot there for Foster. Doesn't change it. Just goes inside out, pushes it to that sideline. But again, it's the big serve that creates the shorter return. 11-5. Gives so many options. Boy. Another big serve. It's a seven-point advantage for the two seed. Right now, Will has no answers for Foster. Point. Two time missed out. returns right there from the big Receiver. server, Foster. And a good time five, out here from minute. Howes. Needs to regroup. And Foster already does go big on his serve, but it almost seems like he's upped it a little bit here, knowing he's got to put that pressure on Will Howes, and he has. He's caused some easy mistakes on return to serve. I mean, it's it's weighing up the, the risk over reward right here. Foster has done a good job of adding a little bit more pace to the serve, getting the shorter returns from House, and then making the adjustment on that inside out forehand roll, getting the ball to drop in. Certainly not giving House as many options as far as generating the power, the pace, you know, the shape that we saw from House in, in game one. As a player, what's the best way to counter a big serve? Get more depth in the court, but House pretty much has his heels up against the uh, LED boards back there. Seconds. The other thing is to is, is shorten remaining. up the Serve swing and look for remaining. more of a chip return rather than uh, a top spin return. You, Use in. Foster's pace. Yes. He's already 13, hitting it five. hard. You just need to hit it clean. Good adjustment there from Howells. Well, that one, Foster wasn't able to get below the net, and that's where House is so strong. Takes it out of the air on the backhand side, creates the angle back cross court, puts Foster on the run. House back on serve with some work to do. Quick hands from House at the kitchen line, back to back points. House put the pressure on right there, right back at Foster, and moved in as they get into a hands battle close to that kitchen line. He's got to string a few Seven, together 13. here. Yeah. Oh, oh, shape oh, it oh, down the, the line. And winner on the line. What a shot from Howells. I'm pretty sure if we if we see a down the line shot, yeah, we're going to have Boom. good foot of movement <laughs> catching the outside of the line right there. Right into your living room, folks. Beautifully done by Will Howells. Hey, the there, shape, baby. the pace. This is the backhand. Well, you saw right there, Howe's trying to move the body into it, but it changes the contact point. Paddle starts underneath, body comes up a little bit. Now we hit the top of the ball, it's flat. Game point for Foster, went for the big serve and missed it. 9 14. 9 14. Push off. So not only does Foster get called for the foot fault, but he also hits that ball wide. Will Howells hanging around here in game number two. He trailed by as many as eight points. Can't make the backhand cross court, and now Foster will get another attempt at taking game two. Well, the, the backhand has, has certainly been a bit of an adjustment for Howells here in game two. Long and Foster Point. takes game 15. number two over Will Howes 15, 15 10, to 10. Foster. We will head to Time a winner out, take in, all game minutes. three in the men's singles gold medal match here at the APP Sacramento Open. Typical insurance, 
You're just another senior. That is the third health insurance commercial with seniors at a farmer's market. Right? Don't get me wrong, I love a fresh heirloom, but it's like those companies think we're all the same. That's why I chose Humana. Before I signed up, I spoke to someone who actually listened to what I needed. She told me about benefits that were right for me, like vision and dental, all in my budget. I'm finally feeling control. What are you doing? Taking control. <laughs> Humana, a more human way to healthcare. Introducing Skechers Pickleball, the official footwear of the APP Tour. They're ultra lightweight and responsive for incredible speed. They have Goodyear rubber outsoles with a specialized pickleball design for increased side-to-side -side stability and agility. Plus, they feature shock-absorbing foam and Skechers' famous relaxed fit design for incredible comfort game after game. Conquer the court in comfort. Skechers Pickleball, the official footwear of the APP Tour. The APP is sponsored by YOLA, for the champion in you. Humana, official healthcare partner of the APP Tour. And Fat Tire, crisp, bright, easy drinking. Let's take a look at the good idea game point from game number two as Foster capitalizing to force a winner take all game three. Just playing so well is Jack Foster right now. Again, he's up the pressure, he's up the serve, and he's taking it to another seconds. level from game one to game two. Look for him to continue to put pressure here on Will Howells. Game three, 15. Will has Jack, to make eight. Jack hit a backhand. Game three, time in. Well, he just, he has to slow zero, himself zero. down as well. Howells rushing through his strokes right now. And that's a good stop right there. Rolls the ball, gets it below the net. Good follow. And just a quality volley. Both these guys so well up at the do so well up at the Kitson line that you know to One create zero. opportunities, either has to be that shorter ball or something below the net. How's lightning fast forehand winner? Well, four of the five balls that Will Howells has hit have been to the backhand side of Jack Foster. So he's forcing him to hit that backhand. A couple of volleys. Right there, and just getting a little zero. high on Foster. That's nice punch right volley from Point. Jack Foster saying, Point. all right, I'll make my adjustment. Now you better figure something else out. Well, he changed the return location as well. Went to the backhand of Howes. One, Howes two. didn't have as much shape. Shot out. Foster trying to Point. run around that forehand Point. again. Puts it into the net. 3-1 in favor of Howes. The hard part about running around that one was Howells put a lot of pace on that one, so it got on Foster a lot quicker. Three, when one. Foster went to hit it, it was almost hitting his body. Backhand pass winner from Howells. We saw in game two where Howells was rushing through that backhand. Too much body movement. This one plants himself nicely, holds it, disguises it like he's going to go to the forehand Four side of Foster and comes back cross body. Side out. Oh, that was Point. well wide. Two. Kind of stood up through it instead of staying down. Free point for Foster. He'll take it. A couple of service errors off of the paddle of Will Two, Howells four. in this match. Ooh. Oh! Plus, is like, I'll disguise one as well. I've been running around here in the inside in, inside out. This time I'll go inside in. Just takes this one straight Think down the line. Think of beauty four. from Jack Foster. Oh, tried, it tried it again. Tried it again, but Ten, rushed it. Five. Tried to double up, and he knew it as soon as it was off his paddle. Howell's able to maintain a two-point advantage over Foster here in game three. Howell's took the first 16-14 before Foster equalized with 15-10 in game two. Ridiculous.
flawless court coverage. What else could you want? What is going on with these guys? I mean, <laughs> that ball should have been put away about four or five times. This guy's just running stuff down so well. The movement there from Foster. Everything he's getting back, forcing Howells to hit another Six, ball. Ridiculous movement on both sides of the net. A good Pushed idea from wide. Foster. But again, Four. changing the return to the backhand side of Howells. Howells not getting as much shape on the backhand side as he is the forehand. So it gives Foster the opportunity for an easier volley to really take control of the kitchen line. Four, six. Oh, oh that one's tough. Off the top of the net court, Howell's not able to react in time as Foster back within one. Five, six. Side out. To get enough height Seven. there, went a little too flat down the line. Foster has gone at that highest part of the net a couple of times here in game number three. Seven, five. Seven, five howls. Right into the hip at the end change. It's Will Howells up 8-5. Yeah, that, that forehand so good from Howells. He has dip and he has side movement as well. You can see the way he's coming up. It's underneath it and it's on the outside part of the ball. So he's giving it shape in two different ways. So hard to adjust to. And again, all that tennis background right there makes it so much more natural. You get people who are like, what? So annoying, Will Howells hasn't been playing the game that long, about a year right yeah, now. he's got 20 how is, years of tennis. Right, under how, how are they so good? It's the years and years of tennis, playing at Notre Dame, playing at a very high level. They come into pickleball and they make that adjustment. It's little tweaks, and Chad, you and I see it all the time with new players coming in. It's us and in, in players and in, in getting with people and learning how to make those little tweaks. Not as big of a backswing, staying short, staying compact. Will Howells picks up on all that, picks up on it really quickly, and you're seeing it in his game and the advancement of his game week in and week out. Coming into college at Notre Dame, Will Howells was the 17th ranked recruit in the country going to play for the Fighting Irish. Hey, he wasn't bad at tennis. <laughs> Not bad at all. Slips oh. on the far side of the court. Looks like, like Georgia Johnson. Exactly. Yeah, first, it was, it was the same spot. We've seen a few few slips on the court, but again, these these plays are moving so quickly. Push off is is happening. Without, only takes a little six, bit eight. to lose some grip. Point. Tried to go extreme angle. Back-to-back -back points out of the end change for Foster. You're talking about four degrees of difference of that being a I perfect shot. Four degrees of difficulty. <laughs> That's about a 98% <laughs> shot difficulty. Yeah. 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 Try to do too much with it. Good coverage from Hals. What is it about Howells that allows him to cover so much cord? Is it just the foot speed? Fast Nine, switch muscles. Seven. Yeah, <laughs> speed, legs. He, I mean, he reads the ball extremely well as well. Oh, oh that's just a beautiful backhand winner textbook. I mean, we couldn't have had a better view of that. That ball is coming right at us off the paddle of Will Howells. You'll see it right there. And doesn't overhit this. Gets on top of it. Find some space, speed, and shape on that ball. 10 7. Too much on the forehand, couldn't bring it down Point into the court. Eight. But again, it's a lower ball. It's much more difficult to really add that shape from a ball below the knees. Yes, you want to come underneath it, but it's going to be a little bit flatter ball. Eight, ten. Oh, that 
ball. Nice pass. deep return there from Howell. And deep, and it's the pace on it again. Yep. So he knows that Foster's going to try and run around this. So he knows he's just got to get it to that spot quickly. All right, so he's got to really rip that to that spot so that it jams him up, and that's twice we've seen Foster in game three jammed up on running around that. Just why? Side out. Good look, good look. Point nine. Tried to duplicate the backhand passing shot from a couple of points ago. This time nine, doesn't go for the corner. Goes a little bit shorter in the court. Again. Too good from Howells at the kitchen line, but it was set up by, again, that deep return jamming up Foster. Foster made it. He, he did get jammed up. He hits a good shot. The difference here was Foster gets to that next ball, and instead of Howells just blocking that ball back, he hits it. 12, and he nine. doesn't allow Foster to get back. He hits that backhand volley. Drops it in the back of the court. Will Howells closing in on a gold medal up 13-9 over Jack Foster. Timeout receiver. Good timeout here from Foster. 13, 9, 1 If minute. you're Jack Foster, how do you recollect yourself and stop the momentum that Howells has found? Fix the timing, shorten up the backswing a little bit. The, they want it the pressure that, it, that has been coming to that left side of the court, that deep corner right there with Foster trying to run around it. Footwork needs to be a little bit better. Get the body all the way around that ball showing up the swing then you can get the timing down but you also have to slow the momentum of will house by again getting that ball lower if those balls continue to sit up house is just going to tee off on it because it gives him that groove and that slot that he wants to be able to hit those heavy top spin balls once it's lower and if house tries to come up as much Receiver, that ball is going to go out or it's Receiver. going to flatten out Easy, easy fix. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> easy fix right now. Howell's two points <laughs> away with a four-point lead. Get that. Oh, just <laughs> wide. Only misses it by a couple Got of out. inches. Point but. 10. Come on, Will Howes. Let a ball get past you one time. <laughs> they are past him. This is the issue. They are past and him. And he's still Two getting feet. to it. And he's still getting yeah, to it. Yeah, this feet. one here, it's past that him right there. Flicks it back with the open face. 10, 13. That is a perfect drop shot. Come on. Foster Gosh, misses the forehand, out. and it brings point. up championship 14. point for Will Howes. He rushed it. You know, Chad, you mentioned that before. He'd done it a couple times, but then he got clean with it. Then he rushes that one, goes a little wide, tried to put a little something extra on 14, that ball. 10. Oh, he hit a no ball. Yes, he did. For the first time, oh. Will Howes is golden. 10. He takes down Jack Foster in. 10 as Will Howes captures his first gold medal in men's singles. Yeah, good job from Will Howes. Good battle. It's unfortunate right there. I think Foster might have lost track of where he was on the court right there playing that last ball. Well, we... Go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> you want to say anything no, about I'll no. talk after the break. Uh, no, we, <laughs> we will hear from Will Howes when we return here on Championship Court at the APP Sacramento Open. When I have pain from arthritis, I grab BioFreeze. Unlike Voltaren, BioFreeze provides fast-acting relief. I can apply it to more areas of my body, and it's NSAID-free. Cool the pain so I can get back on the court. Nothing brings us together like Eggland's best eggs. We love the taste, always so fresh and delicious, plus superior nutrition. For us, it's eggs any style, as long as they're the best. Eggland's best.
18 years from tonight, Grant Gill will become a legend when he totally kills it at his improv class's graduation performance. Knees will be slapped. Suds will be sprayed. People won't know what hurts more, their cheeks or their sides. That's why he's already keeping himself in shape and razor sharp today with health tips and wellness tools from AARP to help make sure his health lives as long as he does. Because the younger you are, the more you need AARP. And Will Howes is your gold medalist here at the APP Sacramento Open. Chad, how's he get it done? Yeah, excellent job and an excellent adjustment from Howes between games two and three. Slows himself down, executes the shots, adds more shape, and then just the coverage there. Picture perfect two-hand backhand. Another one. And we're going to throw it down to Dorian Croft, who's caught side with our Franklin post-match interview. Everyone, let's give it up for Will Howes, first ever men's singles gold medal. What a tremendous match between him and Jack Foster. Everyone give him a hand. <laughs> Will, you look so confident there out on the court. In game two, Jack really upped his serving, was serving big. In game three, what was your strategy to counteract that? Yeah, just go out swinging on returns. Um, Jack's a great player. He puts a lot of pressure with the serve and first ball. Uh, his his forehand inside out and inside in really when when he hits it well it's so super tough great match to him at times we really saw you targeting the foster backhand what did you see there that you felt you could exploit yeah I mean he just loves his his forehand and passing off his forehand so I was trying to get it to that side but he does a great job running around it and kind of defending it so it's tough <laughs> We have to ask you, we were talking about your court coverage all match long. You were everywhere. What is it that allows you to get to those ridiculous balls? You cover court like no one else. Everyone here is what allows me to get to those balls. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Well, Will, congratulations. It's been a great week for you. Everyone, give it up one more time for Will House, your APP Sacramento men's singles gold medalist. Well, Will Howell's playing it up to the crowd, Chad. He likes being on center court. I mean, he thrives on center court right now. Looked really good today, and congratulations to him. Well, we talked about it before the match, too, that if Foster was not able to get the ball below the net, that Howes was really going to control that kitchen line. But it's the shape and the power that Howes puts on those ground strokes as well that really gave him the advantage today. All right, well, another matchup here next on championship court at the APP Sacramento Open. Daria Walchek. Patrick Kalka taking on Georgia and J.W. Johnson. We'll be right back with that matchup here in Sacramento.